I think when the boxes start to arrive, it's always very, very exciting. Uh, and they start to set things up, but actually it's the start of uh, a long haul. We've now got this working, and working how we want it to get it to work. Uh, now we've got to do the experiments, and then we've got to interpret the results, which may be non-trivial, <laughs> to say the least. Um, what this does, by having the robot on, is convenience uh, and throughput. Um, you go from three sam two to three samples a day to 12 to 14. Uh, and it runs while you're asleep. So, from that point of view, it's great. Um, but uh, as with so many techniques these days, what it can do is create what's known as a data avalanche, by which I mean you have so much data, um, you don't know how to interpret it or what to do with it, or how to manage, manage it or curate it. And that's actually one of the, one of the great difficulties of a lot of the new technologies, the high throughput techniques, is that you have no problem producing data. It's turning data into results, <laughs> you know, and then trying to come up with some kind of theory.